Today, we're taking a deep dive into the wild world of AI chatbots that everyone's buzzing about. We've got a lineup of four heavy hitters, ChatGPT, Bing.ai, ChatSonic, and Bard. Each one's got its own bag of tricks when it comes to chatting with us, whether through words or voices. Now, I can practically hear your curiosity brewing. Which one's the superstar of the show? Well, you're in luck because we're about to uncover the secrets. So let's not waste any more time and jump right into it. First off, we have everyone's favorite chat GPT. We all are pretty familiar with OpenAI's GPT-4 model, which is basically a big brain for understanding and responding to what you say. It's like your AI buddy that can chat with you about almost anything, whether it's casual chit chat, creative writing, or even helping with coding stuff. Plus, it's pretty good at keeping up with what you're talking about in long conversations. Sounds pretty cool, right? Well, there's a but. ChatGPT isn't perfect. It can sometimes goof up by giving you answers that are way off or even offensive because it has learned from all sorts of stuff on the internet, and not all of it is reliable or polite. So, it might drop a not-so-nice comment from time to time. Also, ChatGPT has a bit of a chat limit, so if you toss a really long document its way, it might give you a summary that's missing some important bits. And here's the big turnoff. It can't pull in fresh info from the web unless you're on its fancy GPT-4 paid plan, which only a few lucky folks have. So if you're hoping for the latest news flash, ChatGPT can't help you there. Bottom line, ChatGPT is pretty awesome, but it's got its quirks and limits you should keep in mind. But if you want some snazzy take on content, ChatGPT is your favorite bet. Now I am intrigued. Have you explored ChatGPT's amazing capabilities yet? Share your experiences in the comments down below. Next up, we have Bing. It's Microsoft's AI turbocharged search engine, kind of like ChatGPT on steroids. Well, the cool part, Bing doesn't just spit out answers. It also serves up real-time web searches, dishes out where it got its info from, and even throws in some snazzy visuals like images, tables, and graphs. Bing's mission is to give you the good stuff from the web, backed with legit sources. And hey, they've got this responsible AI thing going on. So they're trying their best to keep things accurate, fair, and transparent. If Bing claims something as a fact, it'll tell you where it got it from. Plus, if it ever says something that makes you go, huh, you can flag it. But, and there's always a but, Bing has its quirks. Like, there's a cap on how many times you can poke it with questions. Go overboard, and it might tell you to come back tomorrow. A bit of a bummer, right? And sometimes if you ask the same thing twice, Bing might decide to mix things up and give you slightly different answers. It's a bit unpredictable like that. So, while Bing's got some rad features, it's got a few hiccups to be mindful of. One thing I personally experienced was how it makes things up and presents information as facts, so it's always better to cross-check the stated facts if you don't want to fall flat on your face while curating an important work presentation. Now, I want to know your experience with Bing AI for reliable web searches and trustworthy information. Was it good or well, you know? Let me know in the comments down below. Next in line, we have ChatSonic. It's like this cool playground where you can whip up your very own chatbots, and guess what? No coding skills needed. You get to pick from a bunch of templates, themes, and fancy features to jazz up your chatbot style. Oh, and the best part? It's like a chameleon. It can hang out on Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, Slack, Telegram, you name it. Imagine wanting a chatbot for your business. With ChatSonic, you can dress it up, give it a personality, and make it do all kinds of tricks. They've got categories for stuff like e-commerce, customer service, education, and entertainment. You name it, they've got it covered. But hold up, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. ChatSonic does have a couple of quirks. It's kind of like it's got a script it follows, so it might not handle super tricky or totally new questions too well. Not its strong suit, you know? And sometimes it's like that friend who tells the same jokes over and over, because it can get a bit repetitive and predictable with its answers. So while ChatSonic's got some cool tricks up its sleeve, it's got a few limitations to keep in mind too. But if you are up for chatbot creation without the hassle of coding, ChatSonic is your savior. Let me know if you have tried ChatSonic before for chat design or anything under the sonic roof. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And now finally, we have Google-powered Bard. It's like the chatbot version of a language wizard, and it's designed on the Lambda model. This big brain can understand what you're asking, and it's super multilingual, covering over 100 languages and dialects. So, if you're asking questions in French or Malay, Bard's got your back. The cool thing is that Bard learns from you. So, the more you chat with it, the better it gets at giving you spot-on answers that match what you're after. No more sifting through a ton of info. Bard gets straight to the point. Plus, it's got this whole responsible AI thing going on, just like Bing. If Bard says something as a fact, it'll tell you where it found that info. And if it ever says something weird or not so nice, you can let it know. But, and here comes the but, Bard's not exactly the life of the party. 
It's not big on humor or emotions, so don't expect it to tell you a joke or get all sentimental. And sometimes Bard can be a bit of a riddle master. It might not always spill all the beans, leaving you wondering about stuff. So, while Bard's got some awesome skills, it has a few limitations you should keep in mind. But if you are up for tapping into its multilingual expertise, Bard is your best buddy. Well, this brings us to a wrap. We've covered everything from the coolest AI chatbots to language wizards today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. It's the digital equivalent of giving us a high five. And if you want to keep up with all things tech, AI, and maybe a sprinkle of humor here and there, go ahead and subscribe. Trust me, we're more entertaining than your favorite sitcom rerun. Thanks for hanging out with us, and until next time, stay curious, stay connected, and stay AI savvy. Catch you later.